y'all it's drifter man back with another uh just a little fast video man that i wanted to make man for the uh division and whatnot like that man um just want to basically go over one of the weapons that i got man the pecan and uh definitely man recommend getting this uh gun you know like especially if you're trying to farm out phoenix credits um, definitely a very valuable weapon to have, especially in the dark zone, man. Like, um, I was in a level 30 area, went to one of the landmarks, and was able to clear it out by myself. You know, so, like, take took out all the purple enemies with the shields, even the gold health, like, named elite, I was able to take down by myself, man. So, definitely a very good gun. It probably also helps that my fucking primary DPS is 88,777. Um, just trying to, you know, like, redo, like, uh, my gear and whatnot, man, you know, and try to, you know, get my rolls up, man. It was a fucking gold piece of gear in the dark zone, man. It just, like, boosted the hell out of all three of my fucking, uh, firearm stamina electronics, but I had to be ranked 50 in the dark zone to get it. Um, but here's something that you may not have known. Uh, about the division man you know if, if you're a person that you know um don't have too many friends to play this game you know let's say maybe you only got one other friend that's playing the division you know that's a level 30 you know y'all have been gone into the dark zone as much and you're trying to get phoenix credits to get some better gear um elites with names drop phoenix credits but here's the thing if you rerun a mission on normal and kill a boss the name boss it won't drop a phoenix credit but if you go back and play a mission on hard and kill the boss it does drop phoenix credits and i'm guessing it varies how much they drop and um it might not be that many man we just ran me and my friend just ran uh we ran the hospital mission over on hard and it was pretty simple because i had the pecan so i mean it takes the enemies down pretty quick um and I managed to get like one Phoenix credit. I think he got two. So, you know, it, it will be time consuming. But if you need Phoenix credits, that's definitely a lot easier way to get them. You know, than having to struggle through the uh, daily missions, man. Because this mission right no here, here is fucking ridiculous. But I believe that um you can, I'm not sure you if you can They're get up to closer. 50 Phoenix credits. Maybe if you run it on hard, you get the 20. Then you run it on the challenging mode you get the 30 so I mean that's entitled 50 man but on challenging mode it is like stupidly hard even with the gun I had man like I got two shot and I fucking died but uh um uh, for those of you who don't know the roles on the pecan yet I'll go ahead and read the roles for uh the pecan for you man so you got talent which is swift reloading is 13 percent faster with with an LMG man that that is like a hell of an improvement man because this gun without that perk reload slow destructive armor destruction value is increased by 18 percent when using this weapon man so i'm guessing um either those enemies with the shields you know like it goes through them faster or it could be the elise to have like you know the fucking white bar above them like it takes that down uh a lot quicker man or it could be the enemies that have the shield symbol above them i'm not quite sure and then the ferocious talent is like OP as fuck. Damage against elite and named enemies is increased by 13%. That might not sound by much, like like much, but trust me, it definitely does help, man. It helps tremendously. And uh, you know, I got some good um attachments to it, man. Like my magazine, uh, 81.50% magazine size and 22.30% rate of fire, which takes my DPS up quite a bit. So uh definitely something good there and then man like this gun right here man is so fucking gorgeous the damascus uh i only have the one talent unlocked which is harmful so each hit has a 12.50 percent chance to apply the bleed status i don't have enough electronics to get the uh restored you know killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects which eh, i'm not too worried about and then expert this weapon deals 100 percent more damage when the target is below 30 percent health but it's a sidearm, so it's not doing too much damage anyway. And then I have a small nuzzle, you know, 6.50% critical hit chance of 17% reduced threat on that. Um, 
But yeah, I know I made a rant video last night, you know, saying that the talents on the high-end weapons should be available as soon as you get the weapons. I'm still standing true to that, man, because the high-end weapons are extremely difficult to get your hands on, man. You know, and you play through the entire game, you get the Damascus pistol, which is a really good pistol, but... You know, you have to build those, uh, you know, skill levels up, man, in order to be able to use the talents on. And as I pointed out yesterday, I believe I was correct on this, that the advanced weapons dealer um, inventory, as far as the gold weapons, does not change. So I'm pretty sure he will always have the pecan and he'll always have the Cassidy, hopefully. They will update this and change that, but uh, I believe the uh, rest of his um, gear did change out, so I'm not sure. I'll see you around. Uh, but definitely, man, you know, overall, man, you know, this is a decent game, you know, something different to play, man. Like, I've been putting a lot of time consumption into this game, like I've said, and, uh, you know, just overall enjoying it you know um, a lot of people are saying oh man you know it's destiny 2.0 you know but th there's a lot of subtle changes between this game and uh destiny you know like this is a third person shooter destiny is a first person but yet at the same time you know they do share a lot of similarities you know um as far as being like a a loot um base shooter hey, i guess is what you can call it you know like you kill enemies basically to uh get loot and whatnot like that um this game to me does seem to be a tad bit rewarding more rewarding than uh destiny is but um that's in the bar right here only time will tell you know so i'm just gonna go through and sell all this shit you know i know it is better to uh dismantle stuff but you hold it up okay right now that i could use some credits that. but um yeah, anyway, you know, that's just basically all, you know, I wanted to uh, hit on right now with the game and uh, whatnot, man. So, once you hit rank 30, I would say, you know, just grind out, try to get the pecan, man, you know, and go into the dark zone, maybe rank up in there. Because I'm noticing maybe it's just me, but not as many players seem to be going rogue now which is definitely a good thing um now it seems like the majority of the time i'm going into the dark zone you know i'm finding friendly players you know we're actually helping each other out and uh you know killing the enemies man like i accidentally ax uh shot a player earlier and me and my guy on my team man we accidentally ran rogue and the guy turned around he started shooting at me man but it, you know i you know i managed to get away on uh what not like that man but um it was only one person that turned around and shot at me the other guys were just focused on what they were doing so um i'm guessing that's a good thing man you know like when you hit in game rank you know people are just grinding out to get the best gear man you know and they're not really focused on uh trying to go rogue in dark zone and kill other players you know so i mean that's definitely a plus right there but um Anyway, um, you know, it's just been like a little quick video on uh, the game, man. You know, I wish I had a better recording device other than my PS4 to record on, man. I would record some missions and stuff like that. And for those of you who haven't seen the Damascus pistol or uh, knows what it looks like, that's what it looks like, man. I know I have a crazy-ass fucking suppressor on it, but uh, <laughs> definitely, man, like I love that pistol, man. And then I'll show you what the uh, pecan looks like as well, man. So, um, that's the pecan right there, man, you know, in all this blingy glory. <laughs> and then, uh, this is my sidearm, man, you know, nothing too much, man, but, uh, definitely, man, the SOCOM M1 is definitely, uh, a decent sniper to have, man. I I'm not sure if they have a high-end version of this knot. I would hope they would, man, because it's definitely my favorite, uh, marksman rifle in the game. So, um, who knows, man, you know, who knows, but, uh, anyway... I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace out.